Uh, we're moving on to waivers time now. Denny Carter, Patrick Corain. We'll, we'll go to Denny with the lead on this. You mentioned a few players you want to talk about, um, but I had to add some more serious players, Denny. Uh, this is kind of supposed to be like an informational <laughs> okay. show. Uh, no, but you, there's not interesting quarterback streamers a lot of weeks. You think there are two interesting quarterback streamers this week. I agree. Uh, we'll yeah. begin with Gardner Minshew. If he gets the start at the New Orleans Saints, it could be Jalen Hurts. Right. I don't know why it would be Jalen Hurts. I mean, he could clearly probably play if it was a must-win situation. It is anything but a must-win situation for the Eagles. Yeah, it, right. And so, you know, obviously Hurts is still in play. Uh, so just keep keep tabs on that. Um you know, Minshew was fantastic. He's everything everything we could have hoped for in week 16 against against the Cowboys. He was. I, mean, I told a lot of people, like, I was like, no, play Trevor Lawrence still. And now I've just been, like, haunted. Well, they, like, I, I would have said the same. I, I, I think, you know. I'm it, sick to my stomach. I, I'm not I'm not sick about that. Lawrence still got there with, with the rushing stuff. He got the rushing. Right. He got the rushing tutter, which, by the way, I said ironically – Okay, I know people have been reviewing it's the show. Real, yeah. There's there's yeah. been some angry reviews Someone about these the show. Keep Someone... them up. Keep up the. Oh, we don't want tutters on this. Yeah. Show. <laughs> it was kind of a, it was, It's one of my favorite negative reviews of all time because they're like, the worst part is the guys know football, but they say tutters. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. That, it was thanks. in five <laughs> layers deep of irony, which is probably the point because you can't understand because it's like I, nine I once, layers I, deep of irony. <laughs> On my Tuesday stream, I once said that I wouldn't recognize Evan Ingram if he walked into my house. And someone said, oh, so you don't watch film. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> I, wait, I, do, you, do you know what these guys look like? I have no idea what any of these guys look like. Except now, Hang on, college. because you did break down Zach Wilson pretty good. His form, comparing him to, to baseball yeah, film. I mean, film. Uh, look, just I, to clear the air, Tutter is ironic. We're, we're trying to get rid of it, though. Tutter, Tutty. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Trevor Sorry. Lawrence, he got the ground, Tuddy. So, Sorry, you know, I, I think Gardner Minshew. Minshew has a nice floor just because he's in a really good um, offense, really capable offense, good offensive line uh, with A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, which I, 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 for my money, that's the best wide receiver tandem in the league. Uh, and, and, you know, so he's he has that going for him, which is nice. The the matchup this week is is not nearly as good because it's the Saints and the Saints it's at least play in ugly. a dome, but yeah. yeah, right. But I mean, they, they they play ugly. The Cowboys really pushed the Eagles to to keep their foot on the pedal, and they obliged. And we got a, we got a great game out of Minshew. Um, you know, the the Saints are technically a pass funnel, um, and have been for most of the season. But I I just I think that this game could uh, could be you know Minshew handing it off quite often in the second half as they. Um, as the, the Eagles milk a lead. I'm not sure that they're going to really do what they did last week. Um, he, But, you know, it, it's not the worst matchup in the world. New Orleans ranks 28th in pressure rate. So if he does pass a good amount, then he, you know, he should he should be doing so from a clean pocket. I think he's fine. Um, and then you want to talk about him or you want me to get over to Mike White? Well, Crane, any thoughts you want to share on Gardner Minshew? You kind of did touch on a little bit earlier in the show, but any thoughts on Minshew against the Saints? No, I mean, I agree. I think volume is definitely a concern. We, we've seen the Eagles shift their identity, you know, based on matchup. Um, they could go run heavy against the Saints, which would be a little bit of a bummer. But uh, they they have a good offensive line, and then he's right. The, the Saints don't get to the passers. So downfield passing has been kind of their primary method of attack. I think Minshew's shown enough that we can – we can. I think he's I think he's a very viable streamer. Definitely so. I did too. Denny, Michael White at yeah. the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. So, my, you know, Mike White has has a good matchup here against Seattle. Um, I think he has some touchdown regression coming his way. He, his touchdown rate right now is 2.2% on the season. That's about half of what it was last season. Uh, you know, the, the Jets have had a lot of uh, play volume and particularly pass volume when he's under center or when anybody not named Zach Wilson. <laughs> it's true. They, they, they've run 79 plays every yeah. non Zach Wilson start and throw 48 times. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the, the, the one, the one thing I would be aware of here with Mike White as a streaming option uh, is that, uh, you know, there are reports today, uh, which is Monday, possibly Tuesday uh, that the, that the Chris Streveler package could grow mm. uh, in the, in the coming week. And he could, uh, he could see more snaps and possibly more rushes. And of course, a, a quarterback a quarterback like that you're, you're starting or you're using in the red zone or, or even the green zone. So uh could be an issue for Mike White's touchdown production. 
And I see you do you do tweet about quarterback packages growing. Oh, you have the Taysom package. You have yeah. the Stradler package. Are they are they going to look similar to each other? We don't know. And you've, speaking of the Taysom Hill package growing, you've mentioned to someone that you wanted to talk about on the show. Oh, to, uh, wait, I'm sorry. Speaking of the what? You wanted to talk about Taysom Hill, oh, didn't you? Yeah, there you go. Well, but yeah, but you know, as an eligible uh, for the uh, tight end spot in in at least in Yahoo. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, I have so much self doubt about this. He's like a tight end, like everywhere. Danny, aren't you going to announce the launch of your new site where Chris Strebler has tight end el- eligibility? <laughs> yeah, Pat, I, you don't understand how much I wanted that. I, I, I was, I this was really, bummer. I was like frantically, sur- I was today uh, searching. <laughs> oh, is, is he tight end eligible anywhere? No, he's not. So unfortunately, <sighs> we can't. We we don't get we don't get a Driscoll Taysom uh, Strebler week uh, in week seventeen. That'd be fun. I but yeah, Taysom, Taysom's still out there in almost half of leagues for some reason. I mean, uh, he's definitely rostered in your league. I, I get that. Uh, but, uh, you know, the rash of offensive injuries for the Saints, uh, you know, creating more opportunity for him, for Taysom Hill, um, has resulted in, let's see, uh, he has 35 rushing attempts in the past five games for the Saints. He played nearly half of the Saints' offensive snaps in Week 16 against Cleveland. Now, that was... You know, partly dictated by the weather, uh, although the wind didn't seem nearly as dramatic as people have described it. Oh, come and, on. No, don't uh, it's, uh, it's annoying. It's annoying. You hear all week, oh, it's going to be 80 mile an hour, consistent winds, gusts, whatever. The, and you and you look, watch the game. There's nothing. There's nothing going. Wait, you, even even Patrick Mahomes got ahead and passes. Uh, down I'm not talking Kansas about City. Kansas City. I'm talking about Cleveland. I'm talking about Cleveland. Why wasn't Cleveland a disaster? Like, I was no, wasn't they over 32 and a half and they went under? I, I'm I'm just saying the wind the winds weren't there. <laughs> it's very annoying. Uh, uh, big uh, so Stanford, they're very good lawyers, by the way. Big look, uh, big I do wind. I do think I do think you're still playing Taysom as a top ten tight end. That sounds sort of reasonable. Um, well, I had him as the tight end. I had him as a tight end eleven last week, but that's because of how run friendly the conditions are going to be. Now they're going back to the dome. Hey, it's Matthew Barry from NBC Sports and RotorWorld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the, you know, autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.